Hello everyone, I'm going to do a slightly different video today, kind of do a, a slight review of a camera. I picked this camera up several years ago, it's a Fujifilm Instax 210, it's the wide format version. I've never really had an opportunity to use this, but you're going to see it first. So, got a packet of film, been having to wait until the temperature gets up because you have to use the film when it's 40 degrees or or warmer so been waiting on that so it's gonna open this up here you can stick still get film from this I got mine from B&H photo so set this aside so and on the instructions this got a little little mark at the top here when you open up the back it's got a little mark in there as well so I'm gonna slide that in there close it let's see turn the power on so and basically it has uh, two modes on it for your close-up and further away and then light and normal and darken on it so and then it does have a built-in flash on it so uh, I'm here just next to my house uh, pond out here behind the hospital pretty easy to walk here so I can take snapshots every now and then just to test something out so let's uh, let's give this a try see what happens Okay, got a picture coming up. Okay, don't press there. So let me set this aside here. Or is that the first one? That doesn't look like it was a picture. Let me set this aside, see what happens. Now I had this on 0.9 to 3, millimeter, 3 meters. So let me change the distance on this. All right. Still sitting on count of 10, so that might have been a test thing, huh? Give it another shot. Ah, this looks more like a photo here. Okay. So, it looks a little bit like the old Polaroids. So I'm going to set this down. Let it develop. Okay, sun's starting to come out. It's been overcast all day long, so I just decided to come out and here I am, the sun starts to pop out. Pop out so. so let's see here. We got a couple uh, couple of Canadian geese around here. They're not uh, they're not very active right now, but uh, while I'm letting that develop, I'm gonna try to line up another shot here. I'm gonna darken this one because it's really bright out here. Okay. So we got basically a big soft box going on. All right. As you can see, this one's starting to come, starting to develop here on this. Got a lot of blues in it first right now. I don't see any greens showing up yet. Because we got a we got a little green back there in the trees. Like I said, this is the first time me trying this camera. It takes about uh, four double A's in it. So just a little neat camera. And they, I think they made three different versions of this, is what I could figure about the type of film you can get. Might be wrong on that. I had to look it up. But uh, on the side here, you got just a simple, uh, it'll show you if you're lighting, normal, dark, and power, your range, and then you turn the flash on there with that. So, but uh, the packet, it's about 10, 10 pictures in each packet. Uh, like I say, you can still get them at probably Adorama and B&H Photo, different places like that. Uh, and it has a place for a strap on the side here. Only thing about it, it does not have a place on the bottom to mount it on a tripod. So y'all handheld for it. Uh, this did come with a maybe a macro lens attachment on it, but uh, one of the clips was broken on it, so I can't use that for it. Let's see here. Uh, picture's starting to, it's a little further on here. And the other one, the second one is, is just now showing up. 
So let's give that a shot here. All right, I'm gonna wander off somewhere else and take a picture and uh, come right back. All right, here you go. Here's an example of the, the first photo I took. Uh, kind of has a little nostalgic feel to it. It's uh, not as bright as I wanted it to be. Uh, went around, took another photo, kind of up close of one of the geese around. This one looks a little better as far as the lighting and stuff. I'm sure I can probably scan it and crop it down a little bit to, uh, uh, to make it look look pretty decent. But uh, also went around and showed you another one here. Well, I tried to do one just of a sort of a portrait mode of that with the uh, the light shining behind us. It was kind of doing a little rainbow effect at the bottom of it, but I think I had it set on the light setting. So I might try it again with the, the maybe normal or something like that. Wait for the sun to pop out. See if I can get that rainbow effect there at the base of the the water out there. All right, I've done about eight photos so far, just wandering around. Uh, I was going to go back to the latest photo. I tried to get another one here, doing a portrait mode, and uh, trying to. I mean, looking through the viewfinder, you could see the purple, reds, greens, and all that from the sun shining on the the water spray, but uh, you just really don't see it that much detail in the photo here. Uh, cloud, the sky's just still a little white because it's so overcast today. So I believe this is done on a nice sunny day. The photos will probably come out a lot nicer than what they are. Um, and on this one right here, I tried to do it, it as up close on the, the geese. So I had to set to the 0 0.3 or 0 0.9 to point, 0 0.9 to 3 meter setting. So they're in focus and then the background is is blurred out there a little bit. So, but on this one that was set to the correct, so the three meters to infinity, the backgrounds looks pretty sharp on this. Let's see if I can find the original photo. It's been several minutes here. That's the original photo that it, first one I took. So it's still kind of kind of dark, but uh, looks kind of nostalgic look to it there. But uh, and then when you press the shutter down. It just seems like there's a slight delay on it. So if you're trying to catch an action shot or something like that, probably not the best camera to, to use for an action shot because it is so slow on it. But it's a neat little camera just to play around with. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably take it with me to the mountains or, or some other place where I'm going on a photo adventure or something like that. So uh, check back later on or you can check my uh, website, yumphotography.com, Facebook, and Instagram as well. And if you hadn't, you'll like to vote, like this video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.